Hi, my name is Adam Flynn with our IT marketing team. And in today's training video, we are going to go over how to key in your LRP application from within EasyWriter Pro. To begin, we're going to navigate up to our toolbar along the top and select the Livestock dropdown. You'll see on the bottom of the list, we have our application, which when clicked will open up the Livestock Application Manager. We we'll first need to select a state. So we'll go ahead and use Oklahoma as an example. Next, we'll need to key in our date received, insured sign date, and agent sign date. For today's demonstration, we'll leave today's date. Next, we can key in our agency code. Once that's selected, you'll see that pre-populates that information. Go ahead and click your agent, and then your plan. You always need to select that the applicant is at least 18 years old and then we can begin to either create or search for an entity. We'll select John Doe for our demonstration today, which you can see once selected prefills most of your information, but you will need to select the type, which in this case we'll use as an individual. If everything looks correct, go ahead and select the apply button in the bottom right hand corner which will then provide you with a policy number. It is highly recommended that you take this policy number and annotate it on the application. If everything looks good, we can go ahead and select yes, and we will be brought into the policy with the policy already open for edit. Let's first start by adding an SBI to our policy, then we'll begin to add our coverages. To begin, you'll notice up top under the entity section, we have a view SBI button. Currently, you can see there are zero SBIs attached to this policy. Once we click that, the SBI window will open and we can start by hitting the Add button. Once selected, you'll see the Search for Entity box will appear where you can search by either the tax ID, last business name, first name, email address, phone number, and party ID. For today's example, let's search by last name. We'll go ahead and select the search button and you can see we have our list of insureds. We can either double click or highlight and hit the OK button. Once I select OK, next we need to add our person type for the SBI. So we just click that open space there and then select from the drop down menu. If there is a applicable share percentage that needs to be applied, you can do so over here on the share column. Once everything looks correct, Go ahead and select OK, and you'll notice now our View SBI button lists the number one for our single SBI. And we are now ready to add a coverage. To do so, we'll navigate down to our Add button, which will generate the Coverage Properties screen, where again we can start from the left, begin to key in our information, and then make our way over to the right-hand side to key in the additional information. So to begin, we'll just select a county, our commodity, our type, which you can see we list each one. So for today, we'll select heifers, weight one. A practice, if applicable, in this case it is not. And we do not need to use the authentication number here. Next, you'll see we have on the right hand side a series of drop down boxes that are highlighted in red. This is to give you a visual cue that there is information that is needed. So again, we'll start from the top and select our endorsement length, our number of head our insured share, and the target weight. Next we can select our coverage price. For today's demonstration we'll just use the 110. And then finally our agent. You'll see once I select that drop down it'll list each agent that falls within the agency. And if I were to select an agent that doesn't have the proper certification we'll begin to get error messages as you can see there. So we'll select the agent that does have the proper certification, which you can see then clears that error. Again, we'll use today's date for the signatures. And from here, we can either select Save, which will bring us back to the coverage screen, or Save Add, which will allow us to add additional coverages. For now, we'll select Save, so we can see that coverage line we just created. You'll notice there's a paint chip, which is in that yellow, which stands for Unaccepted. This represents that this coverage line has not been submitted to RMA yet, but once it has been, this color chip will change based on either if it was completed or accepted. 
If we wanted to add a second coverage, we could still do so by selecting that Add button, and we would use the same steps we just used to create the first coverage line. You also have the ability to view your conservation compliance information under the Policy Details section. By using your spin wheel on your mouse, you can scroll down, and here you can see the compliance certification. Once everything is correct, all you need to do is select Save, and then finally commit your policy. And that is how you key in your LRP policy from within the EasyRider Pro. Just as a reminder, whether you pre-keyed your policy before the sales period opened or during the sales period, it is highly advisable to return to your policy once committed to ensure that the policy cleared and there are no errors. If there are errors, please check the EDAS button to correct any errors that might be applied to the policy. If you have any additional questions, please contact your local marketing rep or your livestock underwriter. Thanks so much and have a great rest of the day.